Let's rewind the clock to the 4th century BC, where the seeds of the liar paradox were first planted. Enter Epimenides, a philosopher from Crete, who famously declared, all Cretans are liars. At face value, this sounds like a simple observation about his fellow countrymen, but it's far more profound than that. Imagine being told that everyone in your community is a liar. Does that mean Epimenides himself is lying, or does it confirm that he's telling the truth? The paradox here is that if all Cretans lie, then Epimenides' statement about all Cretans being liars must itself be a lie, making the statement true which of course creates an endless cycle of contradictions. This paradox has haunted philosophers and logicians ever since. Over the centuries the liar paradox has popped up in various forms, shaking our understanding of truth in language and logic. Some of the greatest minds including Aristotle tried to tackle this puzzle but it wasn't until much later in the 20th century that formal logic started offering frameworks to address it. But this paradox is more than just a mental puzzle. It's a reminder that language, truth and logic don't always align neatly. We're still asking, what happens if someone says they're lying? And that's exactly what makes the liar paradox so intriguing and timeless.